So um, today I'm making, uh, I have got this idea in my head, I'm making tear and share veg rolls, um, kind of like wedge sausage rolls. They are so good. Um, and I've got this idea. I've made veg rolls many times, but I'm going to try something new today. And I hope you guys are going to love it. Just a hot pan and a couple of tablespoons of sunflower oil a big dollop of butter, it's around one tablespoon, and then just melt it. And then just a couple of onions, finely chopped. I'm gonna cook this for around eight to 10 minutes on medium to low heat. This is looking lovely and lightly golden um, and that is just what we're looking for. So I'm just going to take it off the heat now. I'm going to transfer the onions into a bowl to let it cool down for 10 minutes. So the onions have cooled down. I'm going to add some coriander. If you don't like coriander in this recipe, you could use some parsley or some sage a little bit or um, uh, any other favorite herb of yours that goes in. Half a teaspoon of salt, two large eggs, just gonna break it in. Here I've got two potatoes which I have boiled, just medium sized potatoes and I'm just going to Actually, just grate it one second. Make it easy. Oops. Just a good pinch of black pepper, a good pinch of chili flakes, a tablespoon of rose harissa. Give it a mix. So nice, right, and in goes 150 grams of grated cheddar cheese. And then goes in 100 grams of, I'm using sourdough uh, breadcrumbs and I've just literally blitzed some leftover sourdough, um, but you can use ready-made breadcrumbs or any other bread. Just mix it up. Just gonna use my hands, that's the best way. Um, combine it all and then we will fill the pastry up. Just gonna break an egg. Now I have got um, ready rolled puff pastry uh, and yes uh, normal people don't make puff pastry at home but so just get some ready rolled puff pastry um, it's around 320 grams for one pack. I'm just gonna unroll it So, so I'm just going to first things first, cut it in half. And then I'm going to take this mixture here then just put it in the middle so i've just got the egg and i'm just going to kind of seal the sides so I can make a roll. So first goes here one side and then just stop it with the egg brushed side so then it can seal. See I'm really generous with the filling so it could do with the less filling but 
I would rather have more filling than a really tidy finish. Right, I'll do the same on this side. So there it is. The two rolls are done. Okay. I, I'll be honest with you. I have made this many times. But what I'm about to shape it as, I've never tried this before. So, I'm going to do it with you guys. So, I'm going to try and make a massive tear and share roll. So, it's nice and festive. And... something you can enjoy with your family and friends just gonna seal these two together there you go so neat so neat <laughs> not okay so now I'm going to make some slits just going to make slits oops come on Trey. now i'm not cutting it all the way through i'm just leaving a little bit joined in here Doesn't this look lovely? What do you think, Sia? Yes. It's pretty. Okay. I'm just going to open it up. So, you know, just moving it a bit on the side, just opening up these um, cuts to kind of make it like a flower if you like. Almost there. Yep, that's it. That's it. All done. And now just a quick egg wash, which is really important. Otherwise, we won't get the lovely golden color we are looking for in our house. We absolutely love these veg rolls. Um, and we often make them when we have friends visiting. But uh, not right now. But if you have got some friends visiting, this will be great for us to share. And it goes in a really nice hot oven at um, 200 C until golden. That's it. It's going in the oven. Amina B! my new baking tray so they're a bit too big <laughs> and here it is just look at how amazing this looks oh my god what to do i know what to do so i'm not taking it off the tray because that's just too risky too risky just gonna slide it through and then I am gonna serve it with some mango chutney some coriander and mint chutney and some cumin and chili yogurt and that is how I'm gonna serve it I 
ఎంజాయ్ చేసి అండ్ హేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రెడీ టు బి రిప్ట్ అపార్ట్ ఇట్ స్మెల్స్ సో గుడ్ ఇట్ లుక్ సో గుడ్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ జస్ట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ యూ పుట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ద మిడిల్ ఆఫ్ ద టేబుల్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ కెన్ టేక్ అ బాయ్ టేక్ అ లిటిల్ షేర్ um and they've got choices of what they want to eat it with or they can just eat it on its own i want to have it actually on its own first mm 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 oh no go mm that's so good please do give this a go give it a try so easy man but it tastes incredible hmm do you want some maybe <laughs> some what are you doing <laughs> mm. this is so good it's crispy it's flaky and the bottom bit is so lovely look at that look at that golden color at the bottom of this Mm. Don't forget to subscribe guys.